Hello good day viewers, let us find a solution to this radical problem. We are given that if 2 root 3 plus 3 root 2 divided by 2 root 3 minus 3 root 2 is equal to m plus n root 6. What is the actual value of m minus n? Which means we have to find m and n before we plug it in here to find the value of m minus n. So what we are going to do here is to rationalize the denominator by multiplying the top and the bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. And the conjugate of the denominator is exactly our numerator. So we have um, 2 root 3 plus 3 root 2 divided by 2 root 3 minus 3 root 2. The conjugate will be what? Just a difference of sign. It is going to be plus, right? This is 2 root 3 plus 3 root 2. We divide by the same thing. 2 root 3 plus 3 root 2. So if you observe, these are exactly the same thing. So it will be what? First time squared. If you take this, you square that. That will be um, 2 squared is 4. And square root of 3 squared is 3. 4 times 3 is 12. So the whole of this is 12. Um, then plus the second term squared as well. This squared we have 9. Uh, 9 times 2 is 18. Then plus 2. Multiply by the first term. Multiply by the second term. 2 times 3 is 6. Root 6. Because 3 times 2 is 6. And 2 times 3 is 6. Uh, that's what we have to the top. And to the bottom is going to be what? Difference of 2 squares. We have minus. We have plus. You take the first term. You square that. If you take this, you square that, uh, that will give us 12 minus. Uh, if you take this, you square that, uh, that will give us 18. Uh, let us further break it down. If you add this to this, you're going to get 30. So 30 plus 2 times 6 is 12 root um, 6 divided by. 12 minus 18 is what? Negative 6. Negative 6. And we're going to distribute it over this and this. Let's do that to the other side. We have 30 divided by negative 6. That will give us negative 5. Then 12 divided by negative 6. That will give us negative 2. Negative 2 root 6. So if we should compare it with this one, you can clearly see that M is equal to negative 5 and n is equal to negative 2 which is just the coefficient of root 6 so we have to simplify this m minus n m minus n is equal to m is negative 5 minus this is constant but n is also negative 2 minus minus is plus this is what negative 5 plus 2 and finally this is negative 3 uh, m minus n as simple as that Taram.